What is up, you guys? Just some home graphic out here. We're you guys another video today of my color guard moments. This is my color guard moments. God damn it, color guard members. This is episode eleven, you guys. This is gonna be about Steffi. So let's jump straight into it because I don't want it to be a super long video, even though it might be a super long video because there's so much to talk about. But anyway, so this one's gonna be about Steffi, you guys. I met Stephanie alongside with when I met Monica the same year, my freshman year, her eighth grade year. Signed them up, came to auditions like a month and a half later. Bang, bang, boom. <laughs> So you guys, um, Stephanie and I, we had um, basically a pretty strong bond um, at the get-go. It wasn't like super, super strong, but it was pretty strong, if you ask me. Um, she was the very first person on the guard to call me brother, to call me a brother, which, which, which felt pretty good in my heart because I felt like everyone was a sister to me, but I never really said it too much. Right after she called me a brother is when I started calling everybody a sister to me. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry about that. Her and I also really hung out a lot as well. Um, my sophomore and junior, half of my junior year, we were like that friendship that we would hug a lot. Like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? We, we gave... I got a lot of hugs. I gave her a lot of hugs. We were just like that my sophomore and half of my junior year. Um, like the other half of my junior year and basically mostly of my senior year. She really wasn't the hugging type anymore. I don't know if it was just me or if it was with everybody. I'm not 100% sure. I think it might have just been me. But I don't. I really don't know you guys. I really don't. But I also had um, that really strong friendship. Um, I only felt that that friendship strength with three other people um that was Nicole, Mariana and Destiny. My god, deja vu. But anyway, I had a, that really strong friendship with her. I didn't talk to her about every every bit of information, but I talked to her about most of it, you guys. I I really did. Also, um I would hang out at her house a lot, you guys. Um I would go to her house quite a bit, usually on Wednesdays. I don't know why, it was usually Wednesdays. Um, during my junior year, that changed to my friend Mitchell instead, but anyway. So when I was at her house, we would play Just Dance a lot because she had a Wii and we played that game. It was pretty fun. She always beat me though. But the one time, you guys, the one freaking time, I am about to beat her. I had like, my score was like 8,000, her score was 5,000. Her freaking Wii freezes on us. And I did like a Happy Gilmore moment. I was like, no, no. And she smiled like, ha, that's right. Still in the field. I was like, no, I was beating you. She's like, where's the proof? <laughs> um, just like Monica, um, when I would... Instead of giving her sodas, I would give her, like, french fries from Alberto's because I used to buy a ton of french fries from Alberto's because I always had a lot of money back then. I don't know why or how I had money back then, but I did. It was weird, so I would always buy Alberto's french fries from Alberto's. And I'm like, hey, do you want some french fries? She's like, yeah, sure. And I'm bang, bang, boom, there we go. There's lunch. Or kind of like kind of like a luncher or a thin lunch, whatever you guys want to call it. Um... I already told you guys about that color ground moment when she would throw her rifle at me and I didn't pay attention that one time and <laughs> I went diving. That was fun. Um, she also is the only person to have hit me. No. She is the first person, I should say, to hit me in the head with a flag. That hurt. That was my sophomore year. She hit me in the head with a flag. Britt was the second, and that happened my senior year. I don't know why. Even numbers get me hit with equipment. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. There was also this one um, football game, you guys. I had to sit out because I, I forgot what happened with me, but I just sat out. Um, she was walking by, and I was like, looking at her like, she's like, oh my gosh. And she ended up hitting one of the field markers and went, Poof. and her face was like, oh man, that was funny. Um... We really did hang out a lot, you guys. We really did. Um, I truly loved her to death like a sister. Um, for her birthday, I bought her a necklace. And for her birthday, my... Okay, let me let me rephrase that. Se junior year, I bought her a necklace for her birthday. And senior year, I bought her a sweatshirt. 
I know, I went from necklace to sweatshirt, I downgraded. <laughs> but no, um, it was a necklace, it wasn't expensive, it wasn't super nice, but it was a necklace. That's what I got her, so she liked it, I'm glad she liked it. I saw her wearing it quite a few times, and it made me proud that she wore it. Um, what else? She was very stubborn at times, you guys. Very stubborn. Very stubborn. There's so, so much things, but I won't get too into it. But she was quite stubborn a lot. It was pretty funny. Um, I also went to her quinceanera. She invited me to her quinceanera, which was fun. It was at her house in her backyard, and we, we had a little dance party. It was fun. Then she invited me to her 16th birthday party and her 17th birthday party, which was also very, very fun. I won't lie. It was fun. I had fun. Um, I... I'm trying to think of something else. We just really hung out a lot. Uh, we also would go to competitions in the same vehicle quite a few times. Um, that was basically my sophomore year and somewhat of my, not my junior year. My sophomore year. Yeah, because junior year we had buses. Senior year we never took the same car. Never. Never. Don't know why, but we never did. Oh, crap. Excuse me. But yeah, that's basically Steffi and I, you guys. Um, there are a few things that she had done for me. Um, nothing like that. Um, she was one of the three people to have stood up by my side, to, stood up to have my back, I should say. Um, during that one home game of my sophomore year, she was... <coughs> ah, damn it. She was one of the three that stood up behind my back, which I really appreciated. Um, she was also there for me. On one in particular, one particular, one particular moment, and I'll save that for a color guard moment, you guys. But she was there for me, and I was really glad. Um, so that's Steffi now, you guys. She was my sister, she, my sister to death, and I loved her to death. She was there. I loved her. I, I was very protective of her too. I don't know why. People thought I favored her, but I really didn't. I favored someone else, but I was the most protective of her. Um, we also used to text a lot. But that all changed my junior and senior year. Oh, well, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Steffi, of, like, so many things we did and how much we really hung out. We hung out so much. But next up, you guys, is the final video, and that is going to be about D, Destiny. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this video. Always and perfect, guys. Peace out and stay lovely.